Hello, hello. Starting a little bit early. Why let the timer run out? People are already chatting. How's it going, everybody? Hey, Dave. Hey, Allie. Hey, Tainted. Thanks for stopping by. Ready to get into some spirit fare. I'm gonna go ahead and load it up now. Oh my god, we're already 11 hours into it. It's wild. How's everybody doing? As far as I'm aware, if I recall, we had some quests, but most of them we couldn't actually do yet. Uh, we need money. We need a lot of money. Um, that, but these these things we, we don't have yet for the upgrades. Uh, we don't have any of that. We can't zip line, so we just have to like go to some new places. Man. All right. We might be able to go here. Minus 150, plus 150. <laughs> Imagine not being able to do quests. Ooh. Getting cold all of a sudden. I think I might just be growing a bit tired. <laughs> Maybe I'm not rested enough yet? I'll just take a little time and then we can continue our lesson. I'm excited about the next steps. You're making some fantastic progress, honeybee. Don't give up. Yeah, I've, I've, I made a lot of progress on the last stream. Um, I've done a handful of upgrades and my ship is huge. It is a, a big, big ship. Big ship, real big. Real big ship. Uh... I know that I need to do some upgrades, but linen fabric, we don't have aluminum, we don't have a glass. Like, yeah, we like can't do any of these upgrades yet. So I think we're just gonna explore around a little bit for now. Much large, very yes. <laughs> Let's see. We can't go there yet. You know what? We can do the minus 150 thing. There, there. So close. Yeah, there it is. All right, we're going. We're off. Oh, but how are you? Uh, watching... Prodigal? Prodigal son. Am I saying that right? Probably not. And eating dinner. My day was pretty good. Um, I... What happened today? This morning I got brunch, which was really nice. There's <laughs> thank you, <laughs> Um, this morning I got brunch. Um, afterwards I went rock climbing, which was really fun, which does lead into the question of the day, which I am curious... Are y'all afraid of heights? I am very, I am very curious what your thoughts are. 100% a little bit. A lightning storm, don't be scared. Yeah, sure, we'll do it. We need money. Um, so today my big hurdle with rock climbing is that I'm getting to a point where I'm getting like strong enough to do some of the climbs, especially stuff with rope, but I'm too, I get too afraid to get to the top of the wall. Um, and so I get like halfway and then just come down. Um, but that's like not good for pushing yourself and actually like improving. So uh, today I did more stuff with with rope climbing so that I know I'm strapped in and therefore I'm I'm safe supposedly more safe than bouldering at least or like bouldering you're without a rope and you climb and if you fall you just you have to not land in a weird way so you don't get hurt um and I thought it would help I'm not sure if it did because even though I felt safer 
with the rope. So once I was back on the bouldering wall, I still felt, still felt unsafe. I just have to get used to it. I'll read chat one second. But um, it was really fun. I went with my roommate and I was able to complete a climb that uh, I was trying to get for a couple of times the last few times that I went and then I just uh, uh, and I just couldn't do it and then today I did it and it was felt very rewarding felt very good about it climbing down though like my hands were like shaking I was just like uh... <laughs> but I made it I made it and I was okay uh, how do I toggle there it is okay Whenever you go up a ladder, you're like, no, please. Ladders are scary, though. Ladders are the worst. They're, like, unstable. Or if someone's holding it, I just don't trust them. Ladders are, like, something else. Bouldering or quit. Got a cannonball off the top each time. If there was water below me, that would be sick. That would be really fun. Oh, heck yeah. We can shear our sheep. I love how alarmed the sheep looks every time. <laughs> there is no trust in that sheep's face. But yeah, what else happened today? Uh, when I got back, I ate a cupcake. Because I deserved it. Uh, and then I watched TV and made dinner. I've been, like, with the... The events of yesterday's, the date of yesterday, being the 20th anniversary, I, uh, this, this is a little bit more on a, a dark turn, so sorry y'all, but I, uh, I watched a documentary, uh, through National Geographic, it's on Hulu, uh, in collaboration with the Memorial Museum, uh, or at least I started it, it's a series, and I cried, like, a lot. It was, it was like the heaviest shit I've seen in a long time. Um, but it was, I don't know, it, it had been a while since I had really looked back on that. Um, so, what was, what, oh, it was the... You can't torture yourself like that. I yeah, I understand. I apparently uh, can and will just for the heck of it. Um, so, uh, like last night, I was watching some of it, and and Ky got home from work, and I'm just like there at my desk, just like red, <laughs> and he's like, "You good?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I, I understand, Ali. I totally understand. But we don't have to talk about that anymore. I did want to mention it, though. So if I'm a little somber today, that's why. Because it's been on my mind. But, uh, the, the rest of my day has been pretty stellar. <gasps> we got a lobster! Uh, I made red velvet cupcakes yesterday, and I feel like red velvet is the, the, the S tier cake. I, I know that's not going to be everybody's feeling. Oh, I see your message. Before I completely change topics, I'll read what you said, Tainted, but I have to get this, this fish first. Come on, fish. Come on. You know you want to be food. This was your destiny. This elusive fish. A salmon. That's exciting. We haven't seen a salmon yet. Uh, if you need to pick me up, I can post some adorable art you brought from the con. Oh, hell, well, you should throw that. Yeah, you should throw that in art or... IRL, I don't know. I don't care. One of the one of the, the things. I'll take a check. I'll take a look at it. Maybe not in well, I guess while we're like sleeping, I can pull it up on my phone. 
Red Velvet is chocolate, so you agree? Okay, so, so here's why I think that Red Velvet is the S tier cake. It is chocolate cake, which is already like phenomenal, right? Chocolate is just like the best thing on the planet Earth. So chocolate, good starting point, right? But then you add in like almond extract and like apple cider vinegar and like little bits of like nice sophisticated flavors, I feel like. It's, just, it's chocolate cake for adults. That's how I describe it. And I just think it's it's the best. I, I was thinking about making a more like fall themed cupcake um, with like cinnamon and nutmeg and maybe like a chai tea uh, latte type of cupcake. Uh, but then I was like, why would I ever make anything other than my absolute favorite? All right, are you guys the types of people that when you go to a restaurant, you know exactly what you want and you always get the same thing? Because that's me. <laughs> High tier word that you agree? All right, I'm glad, I'm glad that y'all agree. Chocolate already makes it at least A tier, yeah. Yes, exactly. I'm glad we're on the same page. This is important to me. <laughs> Where are we? What are we doing here? Susan's Museum Discovered. If it's a tried and true restaurant, yes. Gotcha. Yeah, anytime I go to a restaurant that I have been to before and I deviate from what I got originally, I'm always just like wishing I had gotten the other thing, you know? You wing it? Yeah, I don't know. I just like... Maybe I just really well know what I like, and so I'm like, why ever do- why ever get anything else? But I have been surprised. I- you know, it- it- it's rare, but I've been wrong. But yeah, I always think it's kind of crazy when people go to restaurants and they're like, I haven't had this before. I'll try that. I'm like, what? What do you mean? You've been here before. Why aren't you getting the same thing you got last time? Oh my god, it's a walrus. Excuse me, sir. Oh, great. Just fantastic. The spirit fair is here. I don't know if this guy's trying to be sarcastic or not, but I've decided that he is. Mm -hmm. On this godforsaken rock. Okay, yeah, it is sarcasm. Perfect. Art's posted. The last one doesn't quite fall under adorable section, though. I'll take a look. In the middle of the ocean, she came all the way over here. She saw the cold, steep surface of the cliffside below with its broken ladder. She saw all that and thought, yes, how inviting. Surely I am welcome here. Well, you found me. No use running from it anymore. Let's run the old tape for you. Ahem. Spiritfarer, whose name I don't know nor care to know. I am the Collector, otherwise known as Susan. I love Hallie, I love this bitch. She she's great so far. I'm into it. The gods, in all their materialistic ignorance or arrogance, have played a cruel trick on me. You see, I am the collector, not by choice, but by duty. Though you creaseless plunder of this world's very finite wonders. You will no doubt come to stockpile a collection of junk to rival the greatest garbage dumps of history. My duty is to reward this unsolicit- unsolicit- unsolicitable behavior with, well, more junk. Oh, uncon- unconscionable. Unconscionable. I read it as, um, uh, I, I read it as a different word. And then I realized what word it was. Unconscionable. Mm -hmm. I feel like this game is making me better at reading. I won't lie. <laughs> what irony is it not? My predecessors used to ask for the accumulated bundles as payment to do who knows what with. 
but the job description says nothing about that, and I certainly have no interest in your filth. Mm -hmm. So when the time comes, show me what monstrous assortments you managed to put together. All right, let me take a look at these. Let me take a look at these. Also, for anybody lurking, mm -hmm. exclamation point discord, and you can see what we're talking about. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Oh, these are so good! I love the Digimon. <laughs> oh, those are awesome. Good picks, good picks. Wish I had more money in wall space. Tell me about it. As someone who's not comfy reading on stream, this game has really helped you get used to it. Yeah, like, it's... It's... Uh, the, the like, reading level of this game, it's, like, mm -hmm. a little bit higher than easy, but it's got some, like... It, it's got some commonly used words that I don't see written very often, if that makes sense. Um... So, yeah, I just need to, just need to read more and I'll get better at it. Garlic! Garlic, hello! How are you? It's been a while. Switch to English audio for your JRPGs because I didn't want to read them on stream anymore. I tainted, I understand. I will sometimes select games based on if they have a voice actor or not. If they don't, sometimes like, like... Uh, Kentucky Route Zero is a good example. I, I started Kentucky Route Zero, and honestly, the reading difficulty of that game was a little bit daunting for me. I was like, maybe I'll come back to, um, come back to Kentucky Route Zero later once I'm a little bit more comfortable reading on stream, but that first chapter was rough. Oh, man, it was, it was scary. Okay, so when the time comes, show me what a monstrous assortment you've managed to put together. Grab your meaningless reward and leave. Mm -hmm. Quickly. And pick up after yourself. Uh, I like this walrus. What's good? I, I've had a good day. I've had a good day. I went rock climbing. And I got brunch. So, alright. So, how do I- do I sell things? Yeah, collections! Flame reward X. Well, let's see. What have you got now? Looks like some kind of Y. Why in the name of everything that is holy and beautiful do you carry this horrible thing around? It's not only offensive to my eyes, it hurts my essence of my soul. But, but, wait, I recognize this. Oh. Oh, no. I should have known from the very beginning. It's that man, isn't it? Who sent you? That shallow, materialistic, superficial fraud of an intellectual. He sent you here, didn't he? What a crooked, treacherous weasel. He's mad about losing his precious little woodprint, isn't he? Well, now he's never gonna see it again, I can guarantee it! Perhaps he can learn a thing or two about... Asceticism. As for this prepos see, see, they're getting harder. <laughs> Preposterously silly collection your reward is. Let's see. No. This can't be. No, the fates can't be so cruel. Well, alright. Just take it. Take the bloody woodprint. Go back to the blabbering fool. Just... Just take anything you want. Get out of my sight. <laughs> what a funny character. Yes, the walrus is named Susan. I love that. I get rewarded for everything? How exciting. You started collecting a new type of junk. This time it's fish. They smell bad, they're all terribly ugly, and yet you can't help but try to catch them all, can you? Fortunately for me, you probably won't be able to complete this collection. They're slippery little bastards. <laughs> I like that the walrus is just yawning. 
Oh. Take anything we want. Take it all. Take everything. We're taking the building. Yeah. No, we're you're yeah. We're your new landlords. Uh. Oh, do I only get one per? Wait, is it next reward? I see. Okay, so once I've collected 17 different species of fish, I get the diamonds. Uh, for gems, I can claim this. Broken, shiny rocks. What a joy. Well, you've got a long day ahead of you. Listen, don't let me keep you, Spiritfarer. You have two jobs now, finding gems and spirits. By the way... Who even came up with such a ridiculously sounding name as Spiritfarer? It sounds terrible and doesn't roll off the tongue like my name. Susan. Susan. Susan the Collector. <laughs> they had fun with this character, you just know it. Alright, don't have that. And I need to cook more, apparently. Easter outfit? I get an outfit? Y'all, what? Okay, all right, all right. All right, I think it's time to go. That is funny that the ladder doesn't go very high. I didn't know that there were multiple outfits. I'm psyched. I'm psyched. Also, you guys, I've been playing FTL off stream, and like I can't stop. Uh, give the wood. So Furugawa, okay, we'll go Furugawa. <gasps> There's more stuff. Uh, There's stuff everywhere. All right, let's go here first, though. Nope, not there. Um, so that, that's really nice of them to put it really close. Uh, but yeah, I'm like obsessed with FTL off stream. I just like am really excited to have a win. And I, I haven't won yet. I don't have a one run, but whoops. I don't know if anyone else plays FTL. Tainted, how is um how's Psychonauts going? I've been I've been lurking and watching for a bit and it looks it looks really good. You know, compared to the first game. Considering like how crazy popular the first game was, it looks like the second one really did do it justice. Need to get back into FTL. You're super bad at it, though. It's it's hard. Like I'm really bad at it. Um, I was playing for a little bit while uh, KY was watching, and he was giving me some pointers. And at at a point, I was like, "Your pointers are awesome and and very helpful, but they are almost like I want to get this crate." I was like, I need to, I need to figure this out a little bit, um, through some, like, trial and error, but I also, like, I don't know, once I feel totally roadblocked, I'll have to ask for a little help, but. Oh, oh, yeah, Tainted, I just asked how you're enjoying Psychonauts. Because I thought that the, uh... Uh, I thought that the first one... I, I felt like the second one was doing a lot of justice to the first one. That, that was what I was saying. It looked good. Also, Kim, hello! How are you doing? How are the dumplings? I assume you had, like, a million left over. Oh, you haven't played Psychonauts! Oh, my bad. I thought you were playing Psychonauts. Oh, you know what? I was thinking of Bridge. 
I'm sorry. It's hard to keep everybody's games straight. <laughs> Being mistaken for bridge is a compliment. <laughs> I'm like, I'm really bad with getting people mixed up like that. It's like, it's, I, 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 I'm trying. <laughs> but, uh, Kim, you say you missed this game. Have you played it? I don't remember watching you play it, so I don't know if it was maybe off stream. Garlic. We are blessed. We are blessed with Garlic's presence today. Oh my god, it's Harvey! Oh my god! We've been blessed once again! I'm gonna get this fish, and then maybe I'll hold him up. Oh my god, I'm gonna get this dumb fish. Now that I know there's rewards for collecting them all. <gasps> a snow crab. Dumplings were good, and yes, we do have a lot of leftover. Orc and Mike took quite a bit home. Awesome. That's always the best. Like, I, I don't know about you guys, but I love meal prepping. Look at this beautiful boy. Yeah. Harvey, how'd you get in here? The door is closed. Were you hot sleeping under my bed or something? He's such a patient cat. Look at this. Harvey, say hi. <laughs> he's not even like whining. He's just he's just chilling. Good boy. A good boy. He's being good. What a good cat. He's too sleepy to care. He, yeah, he definitely like just woke up. Uh, you did it. it was the one of the first games you streamed. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely before we met on Twitch. Yeah, I like this game a lot. I think it gets a little bit tedious with like the running around, but as long as the progression stays um consistent i can't imagine i'm gonna have anything really terrible to say about this game come come the end but i still have another like i don't know 20 hours to go maybe uh -huh. back again are you and would you look at that you've got the piece oh stella this is very good You've managed to wrestle the wood print from the cold hands of the hag. What ingenuity. What spunk. Yes, you'll prove to be an immense asset to all my endeavors. Uh -huh. Or, shall I say, our endeavors. Well, it's decided then. There is no pursuit left uh, for me on this island. Therefore, I will join your little expedition. As a passenger, mind you, not as a crew member. Yes, yes. Such a boat might be the perfect gallery. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. I think it's going to be an owl. I know I've said that before, but I'm pretty sure it's an owl. Played a second time, just 100% it? Hell yeah. Oh, I love when a game sticks like that. Yeah, the recent update. Yeah, there was a, a bunch of new content. They added a character. There was some DLC and stuff. I don't really know what's what because this is my first playthrough, but I waited for the update to play it. Uh, all right, let's be real. I waited for the update and then for it to be on sale to play it. It's important distinction. If it was just the update, I wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> Downloading it now? Hell yeah. Uh -huh. I have to turn on the AC. It is, it is like toasty in here. I thought I was gonna be uh, uh, taking out the AC soon, but we had like a weirdly warm day today. What am 
I stuck on? Shoes? Okay. Played it on Game Pass and bought it. Nice. Yeah, I'm always impressed when you tell me that games are on up on Game Pass. Still have to play this game. Garlic, you'll love it. It's it's just such a beautiful game. So lovely. So queer. Game Pass is amazing. It really is. Wait, what? God damn it. God damn it. This is the second time it's crashed. I will. I will say that. Hold, please. Hold, please. Relaunch. Usually I don't lose any progress, but this has happened a couple of times. I might check to see if there are any updates um, after the stream. I can't. I can't download an update during the stream. That would be horrendous. It's going, it's going. So how is everybody today? We have a new question of the day for anyone just coming in. Exclamation point Q, if you are interested. And this question came up because um, I went rock climbing today and I've been mostly bouldering. And when I get like three quarters up of the wall, I get like too nervous to do the last like, Honestly, it's only like one or two holds until I'm at the end and I've like completed the climb, but I always psych myself out and climb down. And so today I did climbing with ropes um, and I thought that that would feel safer <laughs> because like if you drop, you get caught and you feel fine. Right, and you just like sl glide down and everything's hunky-dory. And I was like, okay, well, if I do, if I do the rope climbing and I realize that that feels fine, then I do the bouldering, I won't be as scared when I look down. And it was like, not the case at all. <laughs> I still like got up on the bouldering wall and like, there's nothing holding me. Now I'm definitely gonna die. The other time I wouldn't die. This time I'll definitely die. <laughs> Oh, yes, definitely afraid looking over high ledges makes you go, ah, yeah, no, I, I feel you. I feel you. There was, um, I saw this crazy, oh, no, we were, okay, so yeah, we didn't lose any progress. Now we're just going back to the boat. Send us back to the boat. Uh, there was, like, this, um, this famous bridge in, I think it was China, that spanned between, like, two mountain cliffs. Um, and so it wasn't like super, super far, but it was really far for like a walking bridge and it was all glass and they had like a projection on some of the glass that would make it look like it broke when you stepped on it. And I was like, that is the most reckless thing that they could have ever done that you step on it and it cracks and then that person just panics right and you're already on a bridge and it's like not a huge bridge it's like maybe six feet wide so like that looks like it crash the cracks i would like fall backwards immediately right and that's not safe i i was like how is this how is this allowed how is this okay who did this i have words uh sheep excuse me sheep sheep let me in Oh, it won't let me do anything until we greet this new passenger. I see. All right, is it gonna be an owl? Did I get it right? Uh -huh. All right, all right. I know I can do it. Sure, it might tingle a bit, but well, what if it hurts? Ah, uh, you're here. Good. You won't let it be painful, will you? Uh -huh. Okay, I don't really trust you, but what choice do I have anyways? Haha, <laughs> it was totally an owl. Yeah. Yeah, got it. Ha! Ah, I did it, and I didn't even faint. It actually feels all right. Who knew? Well, then let's get started. What? But, oh, of course, pardon my enthusiasm. I forgot to introduce myself. Oh my God, look at that face. <laughs> How forgetful and impolite. I'm Gustav. Uh -huh. And I don't know why, but I can't exactly shake the feeling that we've met each other already. Anyhow, I'm glad that our paths have crossed on this island, and I know that together we will accomplish great things. 
This world is part wonderful and disgusting, and so is art. Truly, Stella, the gods have struck us with grand inspiration. It is our sole duty to evaluate souls with beauty and awe. My resolve is strong, Stella. I will put together the greatest exhibit of my life, and you will help me. Oh, how grandiose it will be. Ah, but first, payment. Speak of my language. I've been called a lot of things, but never cheapskate. <laughs> listen, listen, we're not, we don't pay with exposure around here. We pay with money. But I heard some other like crazy height story. There was, um, I don't know where, where it was, but there was a, a, a building designer who made like the strongest glass or, or like bulletproof glass like ever made something like that. Um, and it was being used for high rise windows because like you couldn't break them. Um, I forgot I have Alice. Yeah. Um, and the way that this guy would demonstrate, like, on tours how strong his glass was, was he would, like, on this high rise, run directly at it and, like, like a shoulder into it, right? Um, and the, the glass held very well. It never cracked. However, one day, after doing this every day, the glass popped out of the frame, and they both fell. That's a Darwin Award there. Now, where to start? You can- I don't know how to Google this, but I'm sure you could Google it. <laughs> it is a true story, I swear. <laughs> now, where to start? Before we start working on the exhibition proper, some preparations are required. Namely, making sure we have access to proper installations. Now bear with me. Uh, is the boat equipped with some sort of woodworking utility, such as a sawmill? It would have numerous structural applications. Yes, how convenient! A loom would also allow us to make clothing and canvas. Is there one aboard? Fantastic! A foundry with metalworking skills is also, uh, also has a number of applications. Is there anything that could fit the bill? There is? A fully functioning foundry? You've got quite a well-furnished ship, Stella. And finally, the cornerstone of any curator's work, a mailbox. Whenever I see the text, like, bold and in a different color, I just want to spell it out. And finally, the cornerstone of any curator's work, a M-A-I-L-B-O-X. That's just how I read it in my brain. This is why you don't be an idiot with demonstrations. Have a showcase room for this shit. Yeah, no kidding, Tainted. Correspondence with my fellow academics and collectors is essential to my work here. You've built a mailbox already? Fantastic! Well, it seems a couple of items are left unchecked, but I'll let you get to it. I like the owl. Harvey. It's okay, bud. He's like, I woke up because I had to pee, and I tried really nicely to to go talk to her, but instead, she's just still playing video games and won't let me outside. Where's Summer? Have you seen Summer today? I think she didn't get up this morning. That's odd. She's usually up at first light. Something seems wrong with her house. Maybe Albert the shipwright could help us? Oh no. Are we going to have to say goodbye? Uh, are we building a new house? No. Alright, I'm coming, buddy. Hold, please. Harvey has asked me to pause the stream.
His majesty has been uh, appeased. A crusher one? I don't know what any of these are. Okay. Alright, I guess... Yeah, this game is so good. What a good game. I still... Oh, wait, I can do stuff here now. I remember that. We can't go down there. I do really want to go up here. I'm curious about... the new turtle location also. Let's... trying to think of like what makes sense time wise like if we should go up here and then go down i do want to just explore more Wait, let's go here this is more interesting i want to do this also i'm curious if i'm the only person who does this so whenever i am trying to work out um some sort of decision for myself usually some sort of like like a bigger decision like as an example this isn't relevant this is just an example but like changing jobs or moving or anything like that when i am struggling to decide um what to do sometimes i'll like pretend that my life was a video game like oh char that's a new one like if i was playing life is strange and the main character was me and my life and the protagonist was facing the same decision that i am would what would i pick as an outside observer right as the, as the player what would be more interesting what would be the decision that i would make for that character um, and sometimes, like, trying to think of things more abstractly, it can help me make a decision. I don't know if other people do that, or if I'm just a weirdo, but... Give me the fish! Give me the fish! Another char. First playthrough is always what I would do if it, um, what you would do if it came to decisions. Yeah, I definitely play games like that the same way. It's like, well, what would I do in this situation? How would I apply this to myself as much as possible? Um, and I think that's why I didn't resonate very well with Life is Strange 2, uh, because the, the characters kept doing things that were so opposite of what I would have done in those situations. Blue salmon. Uh, yeah, and then when yeah, and then for the second playthrough, you'll do the opposite. Yeah, I that's exactly how I play them as well. Uh, I'm sure other people do, but you are a weirdo. Fair enough. You know, what? I'll take that. Uh, you can set multiple waypoints. Yeah, I'm not sure how to do that actually. Uh, I know that that's a thing I can do. And I tried to do it once, and it didn't didn't work, and then I never tried again, so I didn't bother. I'm just like, we'll go one at a time. But I'll try it next time I go to the, uh... Next time I go to the map, I'll be like, how do I do? Allie, be my guide. But yeah, that would be really useful for, like, wanting to make sure that I hit some, uh, crates or whatever on the way to the next place. Alright. 
it is morning. Everybody wake up! Everybody wake the fuck up! Get up! Here's another funny question. Do you guys set your alarm to be, like, really annoying? Nord Sea Pier discovered. Or do you, like, do soft chimes and bells that slowly get louder and ease you into the next day? Because when I was in high school, and I had to get up at, like, like, uh, my bus would pick up at 6.50, I believe. And so I had to be out the door at 6.30. Um, and so I would use, like, a really loud, obnoxious alarm, because otherwise I would just sleep through it. Every time. Would always sleep through it. Uh, and now I'm like, I'll have these chimes go off for 25 minutes until I'm awake. Set multiple alarms that slowly get louder. That's pretty much what I do, Ali, yeah. Your alarm has to wake you gently, yeah. Used to, don't anymore, though, because I found it was so jarring to wake up that I hated getting up. So now I use the Zelda theme song. I love it. Get scared awake and makes you so cranky. Fair enough. Absolutely fair. Um, I do remember that there was, like, a particular song that I would play to wake up in the morning and, um, in high school. Uh, and then one day, uh, it came on on the radio, like, when I was in a mall, and I jumped. Like, I, I actually was startled by the song starting. <laughs> I was like, you know what, maybe I should change the song. Maybe we should do a different song for a little while. Now, for the real work. Now that our perpetual work is fully complete, I think it's time to start working on some proper infrastructure. Ideally, a project of this breadth would require a dedicated space to protect the more fragile pieces from the elements. But it also requires an office desk from which the curator can work comfortably, as well as a waiting area, a front desk, some storage, maybe even a gift shop. Though we might manage without one. What, a bit much? On the contrary, Stella, I assure you that these are all perfectly necessary. Luckily, as a rational man, I realize that space might be an issue. That's why I have thought of a multi-purpose area that would do wonderfully. Let's get to it, then. Grab a pencil and listen carefully. A gallery is paradoxical space for both houses. Houses, works of art, arts, and is one. That was hard to say. Your high school alarm was the Attack on Titans theme song. It was scary. <laughs> That's so good, though. Architecture is, after all, the first expression of humanity's mastery over nature. That was weird. Uh, and that is of the many ways the Bauhaus of Chicago... Oh, I see. We're just still talking. That was just a lot of conversation. I get it. Have you got all that written down? I don't mind going over the finer points of the lecture again. Do you need me to repeat? No. Well, if you insist, then I'll let you get to it then. Alright, what do you need for this gallery? I am excited about the gallery. Cotton thread, oak plank, marble, and glass. We don't have marble or glass yet, so I'm not even gonna bother. <gasps> Wait, are our trees done? <gasps> Oh my god! How exciting! Can we make some new food? I don't know what we're gonna need the wheat flour for yet, so I'm like worried to do anything with it. Alright, let's see. What's a new snow crab? I don't think we've cooked it on its own yet. Uh, well, we definitely haven't cooked it on its own. The first one. I haven't... I can't recall. I don't know if I've heard it. 
I'll have to look it up. I'm very curious. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> what a way to wake up. These days, I am like such a baby with waking up. Like, I set my alarm, so I start work at nine. For context, my my shift starts at nine. And I, I'm salary, so I can, as, if I don't have a meeting and I start a little late, I can work a little bit late. It doesn't really matter as long as I work my hours. But like, I'm supposed to be there around nine. Um, I set my alarm for eight and then 8.30. So my alarm goes off and I snooze it for five minutes and then it goes off again and I snooze it. And I keep snoozing it every five minutes until 8.30. I snooze it like two more times and then I get up and like roll to my desk chair and turn on my computer and start working. That's just my day. <laughs> it is awful. I don't recommend it. Like rolling into work, literally asleep. It's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. It's bad habit. That perks of working from home, I guess. Perk for me, not for my boss my boss in chat speak now or no definitely used to do that it's yeah it's something it's something um i wonder what happens if we go to the fish now all right so how how do i set multiple waypoints um if i set set this waypoint oh, i just hit this button instead of the other button all right, y'all, we're going on an adventure. Your desk is right next to your bed. Yeah, it's that that's what I run into too. Like I'm going a little bit crazy. Um like I I feel very lucky that I get to work from home. Um it definitely has its challenges though. It's it's um It's not perfect. But, um, I do fully acknowledge that I'm very lucky to be able to work from home. We don't need to water this one a third time. Come on. There we go. You got planks. That's nice. Heart treated crab. Ooh. All right, we had some other new new things. Let's try the blue salmon. Going to go watch the Matrix just to spite Dave, right? percent I'm definitely gonna rewatch it before the uh, before the new one comes out that's my plan I want to marathon them but yeah I watched uh, ex machina for the first time the other night and I've been talking about it a lot because I it really surprised me I thought it was very very good um, I was worried that it was gonna fall into a lot of AI tropes especially given the premise of the movie but it was very good. I, I recommend it if you haven't seen it. Another series that I really want to rewatch is um, um, the Lord of the Rings movies. like the extended editions. It's been a really long time since I've watched through them all. Director's Cut Marathon in Discord? Hell yeah. Grilled fish, that's not new. Uh, 
The lobster is new. You can watch them all in like one day if you get a total of one hour of bathroom breaks. Yeah, I mean, you can. You can. Should you? Would, would you? You can. I've heard that there are theaters that will do like big events for marathoning all the movies and they like serve food and they like will auction off like props and things from the movie. It's too dark to navigate. And that kind of thing like sounds really fun. Uh, I think I remember KY was talking about how um, there there was there was an event like that. Um, I'd have to ask him to know where it was, but I'm pretty sure it was in Texas. Um, but they served like a bunch of food based off of the movies, and so like you'd sit down for part of the movie, and then there would be an associated meal. Uh, or drink or whatever, and so it was just like a whole themed event. Elmo Draft House? Yeah, that sounds right. Lord of the Lord of the Rings is Thanksgiving, Harry Potter is Christmas. Oh fun. Char. Let's cook that. Almo does an amazing job with uh, with those things. I've always wanted to go. Lots of fun. Highly recommended to friends. I go for Xmas every year and do the elf one. Oh, that sounds like a ton of fun. I, um... Yeah, we've been trying to find some sort of comparable movie theater around here, and there it seems like there just isn't one. But if you want really big screens, we've got big screens. Real big screens. Here we are. As I told you, Mosh and I never really got along. She's a tried and true blabbermouth, and no, not the funny kind. And yes, much worse than me. I never took pleasure in destroying other people's lives. On the contrary. All right, I should be able to pull off a little bit of acting here. Let's see if I can fake it. Do we have any faith whatsoever? Uh, let's let's at least try to be polite. Masha, good to see you again, old hag. You've retreated much further than I thought. How are you doing these days? Well, well, if it isn't Astrid. You've never been this nice to me before. Did Olga send you? Should I assume you need a favor? If it's a scarf, sorry, honey. I've got, uh, I've just given the last one I knitted to a lovely chap up in the mountains. But I still have some winter socks if you're interested. That's nice of you, but that won't be necessary. No, thank you. Stella here welcomed me on her boat and made a wonderful house for me while we are cruising the oceans. Uh, all of my needs are met thanks to this wonderful young lady. Actually, it's information I'm after. Darling, have you heard of anything about Giovanni? I know it's silly, but I'm looking for my lazy husband. The turtle music. Y'all could just come visit. We could see a movie together. I'm down. I'm down. Tell me when. Olga said in a letter that you had a uh, lead on where to find him. Oh, I did actually, but Astrid, you know I'm not in the business of gossiping. Olga, maybe. I won't even talk to Irina. But me? Oh my, never. Remember when I inadvertently mentioned to Sir Grogwood how his wife had met with his cousin in the lower garden? Or when Miss Fredericks confided in me the secret of her forgiven foreign lover? You don't? Exactly. That's because I never told no one. Oh, Masha, darling, that's true. Uh, but what do you make of Sir Langdon's spat with his wife? Because All because someone blabbed about his mistress to Miss Langdon's maid. Oh, and what about the time when Bobby accidentally discovered who had killed his pet bird? Oh, oh, do you think of the ruckus caused by discreet revelation of Miss Gardner's secret stash of fine liquor? I could go on and on and on, honey. I, but that was different. 
Where is he, Masha? Oh, well, okay. He's in Loneberg. He hooked up with someone. I don't know the details. Wasn't so hard, was it? Thanks a lot for helping me out, Masha. Your kindness is as gigantic as your forehead. You did the right thing and I won't forget it. Who knows? Might even receive a crate or two of freshly threaded wool in a couple of weeks. And Stella here might need your services. I'll leave you to it. See you soon, Masha. Damn, I hate her stupid fucking face. Mm -hmm. I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's go! Put in vacation right now! Yeah, yeah, it's, I feel that. I feel that. I am actually, I'm doing a mini trip uh, up to Maine uh, next month that I'm excited about. Um, I have a family obligation, and then while I'm up there, I'm going to spend uh, a day with KY, probably in Portland. Um, get some, get some lobster. Uh, where did I get marble from? Well, I definitely want more marble. Aluminum. Definitely need more of that. Iron. I guess because we're almost out of iron. Stella! You took your sweet time, right? Are you done? Yep. Alright. I'll see you later then. Ah. Uh... All right, all right, I get it. I'll give you something else. Mm -hmm. What are the few places you've been? How exciting. There's nothing to do in Maine. Used to go up to Maine for growing up for better shopping. Gotcha. Did I watch Annihilation? I haven't. Yeah, I've been to Maine, like, once or twice, and as as far as I'm aware, there's not, like, a whole lot there, but Portland is, is one of the few places where there's some stuff to do. She's never been so nice running her mouth like that. She's the mean one of the bunch. But enough about her. Thanks for bringing me here, Munchkin. So, Giovanni is on Loneberg. Well, he usually hates winter. Let's go find him. You seem so sad. Mm -hmm. Think you'd like it mostly all female cast except Oscar Isaac, which works for you? Yeah, I mean, okay, so if it's a sci fi movie, I'm in. If it's a mostly female cast sci fi movie, like, I'm, I'm there. You know what I mean? I'm ready. That was a good hug. Aw. <laughs> Annihilation was crazy. Now I'm even more excited. Alright, so grilled fish, that was the same. Oysters. I don't think we've made oysters. No, oh, sheep is not good. Everybody's talking to me. Oh! I'm seeing visions of past meals I've had. Can't be a good sign. I don't know what kind of food you like. Thank you, Skipper. This meal is nourishing. You're also hungry. I'm bad at feeding these people. Can't have such a strong stimulant. Those are so disorienting. You won't be able to sleep for days. Sorry, Stella. I won't accept it. Getting quite hungry. Very pretty and spooky. Ooh, okay. Pretty and spooky are your fave. I can go for, for a suspenseful movie every now and again. Uh, I don't remember which one. Or where it is, I should say. Just gotta check them all. Nope. Nope. Oh my god, where is it? 
Um, where is it? Oh, up here. There it is. Jesus. Uh, what's here? Fireflies. We're gonna we're gonna do it. Let's go. Little roundabout, but I want to know. Paladin told you to watch it, and it's been on your list forever. How is Paladin? I haven't seen them in a little while. They doing good? Midsummer's on Prime. Ooh, good to know. Celery. I'm like gonna scroll back through chat after streams and like make note of all of the movies and stuff that y'all are talking about because I haven't seen any of them, but they they're all coming very highly recommended. Spooky movie season. Are y'all gonna play any spooky games on stream? Oh, can I make an apple pie? I like don't want to use my only wheat flour, but also I want to make an apple pie. Let's just make a roasted apple first. Plan on you're playing Resident Evil 8? Y'all gonna see malignant? You saw it, do not recommend. Okay, good to know. Lame. Tainted, what are you do you have any like specific ones that you're really excited for? I I wanna do like a spooky game. But I don't know which one, and like the only one that I can think of that I'm like, yes, I would play this on stream and I would probably have fun, would be Amnesia, The Dark Descent. Uh, anything else, I'm like, it's gonna be too scary, I don't, I don't wanna. I play Resident Evil 7. <laughs> Outlast 2 and Necrosis VR. Oh god, horror games in VR? Ooh, good luck, good luck. What is that? Do you hear that, Stella? Is that music? An organ? Strings? How incredibly stirring. How dark and mysterious. Oh, what beauty. Stella, would you mind letting the music in? It would mean so much to me. Let the notes flow through you, Stella. Let the music strike straight to your heart. Oh, I love this animation. That's so cute. Oh my god. Oh my god. What was it? What is that? <gasps> There's so many! Oh my god! This is so exciting. There's just- there's so many of them. You can't do anything wrong. This might be my new favorite thing in this game. This sounds amazing. Or this is amazing. Oh, this is so satisfying. Oh, I can't get this one. Give me. Ugh. Oh, 
I'm getting so many. That was so many gleams, too. That was fun. That was really fun. That was exciting. Trapped underwater in VR. Wait, what? What? That's a lot. Oh, that does remind me. I could play Soma. Because Soma, I've like, I haven't actually really played, but I, I've watched it. That's the thing. It's like the ones that I'm like, yeah, I could play this on stream. I've watched. So I'm like, eh, it does count. Eh. Uh, a few fave mini games that were so that made you cry. They were so pretty. I don't blame you, Allie. This game is so lovely. Slither. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I feel that tainted. Like, but then again, um, if I played a game like that, it would just be to get the scare factor, you know, for for stream. Which I think would come regardless. Even if I kind of know what's what's coming. More poached fruit. Give me something more interesting. Come on. Come on. What about cherry and pork? What? What are you talking about? I do cherry glazes on my on pork all the time. <sighs> Alright, what's a fish I haven't cooked with much? Do that. A turnip? Let me try it. Um. But yeah, other horror games and stuff that, that I've played just seem like they would be too much. Or that I've seen. I want to get another sheep, too. Need to find some co-op party horror games so we can all get together. See, I'd be really bad at that. <laughs> There's one that a lot of people are playing right now, though. I'm trying to recall the name. Um, but there's one in particular that is a multiplayer game that people have been playing. I don't think it was Dead by Daylight, because that's a zombie shooter, right? This one wasn't a shooter, or... or it was way more horror than just zombies. Uh, it was like you're exploring a house. Is 4v1 where the survivors have to fix gens? Yeah, I, I don't think that was it because the... Um... Uh, I, I'll have to check. I, I, I don't think it was Dead by Daylight. I'm pretty sure it was something else. Yeah, Phasmophobia. That's it. Alright, I can't pick that because, because she is. Yeah, I've watched a couple people playing Phasmophobia. Scallop? Crates! Crates! I didn't see anything to dive for. Do you need food? Are you hungry? Oh yeah, you're hungry. I'm glad that they'll eat food that's like multiple days old. That That is nice. Are you hungry? A little. Phasmophobia is fun. Tried it in VR the other day and the controls are trash, but defo down to play more outside of VR. I, I want to get a VR rig, but I know my PC can't handle it. And so like, 
if I got a VR rig, it would have to be like the PlayStation VR. Not that I could afford it right now anyways, but um, uh, I've heard the PlayStation one isn't that bad. VR be no rush, Scarlet. Take your time. Found something in my like. Here's a gift from my collection. I hope you appreciate the value of such oddities. I do appreciate the value. I will sell them promptly. I can't handle it. Sounds like an excuse to upgrade your PC. Let me tell you, I when I started streaming, I almost immediately got a new graphics card. Uh, because the one that I had in my PC was embarrassingly old and bad. Uh, it worked, so, like, I never really had an issue. It played games just fine, uh, but it wasn't good enough for streaming. Um, and then I got, like, uh, an Elgato, uh, card, and, you know, just, like, slowly upgrading my streaming setup, you know? And then I was, like... I've been doing this for a month and a half. I should, uh, just work with what I've got for a while. Mm -hmm. Stella! He's been here! I can feel it! I won't beg, mm -hmm. but if you could... Come on now, you know what to do! You're in for a treat! You're looking at the only location of the joint venture for Raccoon Inc. and Furugawa Tours. Where vacation means shopping. Make sure you browse our latest brochure and maps to explore this great land of ours. Anything I can sell here? Not really. That I, Not that I want. I guess I... Oh, shit! This stuff is worth a lot! I didn't realize... I didn't realize that I should be selling all of these that I have extra of. Okay. I don't need- I don't need 30 carrots. Tea leaves are worth 300? Oh my god. All those carrots. Cabbage seed. I think we do want to get a couple of cotton seeds. I know I have some, but glass. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna come back. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh my. Aren't you a cutie pie, Bambina? I'll call you Peanut. Like a cute little peanut pie. What? You're looking for someone named Giovanni? Ha! But that, Babina, doesn't surprise me one bit. I mean, who isn't looking for me? I'm Giovanni! Um, Johnny Leone Formidable. Sorry to break it to you, though, but you're a bit young for me. What? Astrid, you say? She's with you on your lovely boat? Say no more. Here I come. Aww. <laughs> Why is it all boarded up? Harvey, what's up, buddy? He wants to be on the stream. All those carrots, you always get 10 to 15 of everything and sold everything. You make some money. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I want to talk to him. I want to know what's wrong. Yeah. What's going on, man? Also, there's, there's a banner. What? <gasps> I don't have this ability yet. I better get it soon. He what? Mm -hmm. Just like that? No fuss? Really? He must be really desperate. Let's go back. So here's the thing. Do I buy cotton? I know I'm gonna need cotton. Critical hits! Oh my gosh, I'll let people roll in for a moment and then I'll give you a shout out! Critical Hits, thank you so much for the raid. I really appreciate it. Ali, thanks for getting that shout out. Y'all, if you're not following Critical Hits already, definitely slide over there, give a follow, and then slide on back. Um, 
Critical Hits does some awesome variety streaming. I've seen I've seen you playing all kinds of games. You were playing Horizon earlier, right? First first playthrough, right? That was a um, uh, 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 first time ever playing the game. I don't, had you seen it previously? Also, Titan, welcome in. Yeah, sure was. Hell yeah. Horizon is one of my favorite games. When I saw that you were playing it, it was like, oh, I'm gonna lurk. I'm gonna I'm gonna lurk a lot. I was eating dinner while you were playing. Oh, we got a letter. We got a letter. What do we got? We siege! <laughs> uh what was what was up with this? What was up with this note? Deep dive in our new lobster rolls. Oh shit, we got some recipes. Flower and lobster. Okay, cool. Good. Super into it? Nice. It's like... I... So... I know it wasn't everybody's cup of tea, but that game, to me, like, most of what people seem to... I won't spoil anything, don't worry. Uh, most of what people seem to report, like, disliking about it was Aloy's attitude, and that's, like, my favorite thing. I love how sassy she is. Mm so good and ashley burke the voice actress does such a good job great game and great story yeah it is it is top tier i i, I love that game she's great for that yeah mm -hmm. ashley ashley really knows what she's doing she's a phenomenal voice actress I'm so excited for the, the next game. It's probably my most anticipated game of next year. Well, don't just stand there. Welcome him aboard. Yay! Peanut. Oh, so another lion. Oh. <laughs> He's so suave. Look at this guy. Checking out my nails. I like this lion. Giovanni. Astrid. Oh, Astrid. You look good. Always. You look splendid too, princess. Astrid, I was looking for you. Everywhere I went, you were not there. Honey, my life is empty without you. The air tastes like dust. The ground feels wobbly. The stars are gone from the sky, and no one is here to scratch my back. I even had to buy a back scratcher. You know the wooden ones with the little plastic hand on top? <laughs> Stop it, Jibani. I haven't forgotten what you did. Oh, I see. I see. She's mad. She's mad. Stop it, Jibani. I haven't forgotten what you did. That's better. I will never forget. Mm -hmm. But, mm -hmm. but, I'm willing to forgive you. Only if you promise to behave. Can you do that, Giovanni? Can I trust you on this? Or should I forget about your right here and right now? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yes. Oh, yes, my princess. Have my back and I'll show you how trustworthy I can be. Mm -hmm. I will shower you with gifts and never take the slightest peep at other women ever again. Heavens, I'll even stop looking at other people. You have my word. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, Jibonkins. <laughs> but you're still on probation, mister. If I ever see you doing something fishy, I'll kill you. You hear me? <laughs> now come here. I have so much to tell you. Ah, they're back together. How sweet. He's got that swagger. Oh, I've missed, I've missed some chat. Uh, the game is what it is when you see the full story. We stand Aloy. I can 100% uh, relate to her wanting to go do her own thing. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Especially like with what Alo is going through. Oh my god. Love Halo 1 play. Infinity, but not gonna lie. Looking forward to Horizon more. The, the other thing that I'm looking forward to if we're talking... The next year's games is God of War. Like, no lie, God of War is gonna gonna be pretty sweet from the looks of it. 
a lot of things that got you early was how well the eyes are animated. A lot of games missed the mark with that. Yeah, the graphics were really great. I remember being super impressed. I'm just gonna turn off my AC. Well, hold on. And my door is like cracked for Harvey coming in and out, and I always feel super wasteful when I have my AC on and the door is cracked. Everything so far is really well done. Yeah, I, like I found that there were like some visual bugs like occasionally, but they weren't ever like that bad. Like, and, and the faces when they're close up are so good. Still need to play the last one before Ragnarok comes out. Tainted, you are in for a treat. Oh my God. The, the most, the, the God of War, whichever one, I'm pointing at it. It's on my shelf over here. So good. One of one of the best games I'd played that year, for sure. They're <laughs> totally in sync. <laughs> nice. Giovanni and I have a few things to settle. You don't need to babysit me for a while. I'm sure you got better things to do than watch two ancient lovebirds reconnect. I'll talk to you later. I am happy for you. What kind of food did we make? Shellfish stew? Corn flour. Uh, oh yeah, what was our... We had a recipe. Let's just go all the way to the bottom. Wonton soup, rice flour, and meat. That's not rice flour. Pretty sure we've made meat stew, we've made pork chops, we made the squid, lobster roll, lobster and flour. But we don't ah, we need a mill. We need a we need a mill. Gonna leave a lurk, but um I promised Miss Friendship I'd watch another episode of her show with her before bed. Hell yeah! No, have a great stream. Enjoy your show. I really appreciate that raid. Thank you so 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 much. Um and I'll I'll catch you at the next one. I definitely want to watch more of you playing Horizon for sure. Take it easy. And uh, Titan, you're also going to lurk for a bit. Yeah, no worries. Have a good night. <laughs> oh, do we need a milf? No, we need a, a mill to mill flour. That is funny, though. That is funny, though. I always loved, like, the misheard lyrics and stuff. I always got a good kick out of those. So what time is it? 9.13? Okay. What? We can grow this? Let's grow a lot of it. Is this gonna burn down the boat? We'll find out. Your mom's the worst at misheard lyrics. I I do it all the time. I mishear lyrics like constantly. Um. Well, it's too dark to navigate, so I might as well sleep. <laughs> Dirty teens stun dirt cheeks, but thunder cheeks. Oh my god. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I definitely misheard lyrics. Um, I think I even told you about this. Um, for that song, what's it called? Um, uh... I can like recall the entire song and chorus in my brain and I can't remember the name. Take me to church, that one. Um, uh, that song, there is a part where, um, what is it? Command, um, command me to be with, I forget what the actual words are cause I just hear my misheard lyrics where I thought the song was like super, super gay. And I think it is because the music video is super gay. Um, but yeah, yeah, command me to be well. 
And then, yeah, command me be well. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I hear command me to be with a man. And then it's, and then it says amen. You know? I, so I, I was like, he's trying to get God to convince him that being gay is okay. That was like my take on it, right? And I just, I just like refuse to believe that that's not it. Like, that, that, that's, those are the lyrics in my brain. Uh, let's set the waypoint. And then let's set the waypoint. Actually, I lied. Let's just go here. <laughs> I don't want to go, like, out of the, the ice area. I just want to go pick up our resources. But yeah, I don't know how late I'm going to stream tonight. Oh! I was planning on doing a shorter stream. Um, but I'm definitely going to go for at least two hours. So you got me for another half hour at least. Give me the fish. Give me the fish. Give it to me. Give me, give me, give me. Also, is there a limit to the number of cupcakes that you can eat in a night? Because I definitely want another one. No, perfect. Thank you for the confirmation there, Tainted. I appreciate it. I know you need chicken. I don't have chicken yet. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Tainted, what are you playing lately? I'm trying to recall what your most recent stream was. And I, I can't think of it. That's right, that's right. Pokemon. Right, 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 right. I was having like a total brain fart moment. I was I just like could not remember. Let's see you every day. Well at least you understand. At least you get it. I know, right, Allie? I feel the same way. Like, I don't play Pokemon all that often. I liked the new one. Um, but the old games, I almost never go back to. Like, I did once in high school and played them on, like, 200% speed. But, um... And that was, like, Leaf Green, I think. You got planks! Planks! Get your planks! Made some planks! Thank you. Appreciate it. Where are we? Ah, yes. You lost six people! Oh no! I, I had never seen that, um... That, like, uh, uh, that parameter of game, like, that mod before. I really like, like, I would play the game again with just totally randomly generated, um, Pokemon. I think that's, like, the coolest thing. We're just gonna do a lot of marble. 
and aluminum. Be a deer. You know what would be nice? Something to eat. Oh, okay, fine. Coffee! Oh, do I have to, like, let you know that we're done? Name's Masha. If you work hard, you get rewarded. If you slack off, you don't get anything. Simple. Don't sugarcoat it. Stella! You took your sweet time. Are you done? Yes, I'm done. See you later. Uh -huh. Lack of food! What's... What do you like? Uh -huh. Thank you. This meal is... Nourishing. Hey, Peanut. I see you picked a spot on the map. What a wonderful initiative. Seeing the world, going places, meeting new faces. It's all so exhilarating. Before we go somewhere incredible, though, could you do something for me? Let's go somewhere else. Alright, I'll let you in on a little secret. I want to make someone really happy. Don't say it out loud. A secret, I told you. And yes, you guessed it, a very special lady. I want to show her how much she matters to me. Ha! I knew you'd be on board. Alright, we need to go to Bottom Line Corp to do some shopping. I've heard the shop there just received a new batch of chocolate boxes. And she just loves chocolate. The dark and expensive kind. It's the perfect gift, don't you think? Wonderful, let's head there. I'm down. Uh, but let me check really quick, because I know we've got some new stuff we can build. Gave them coffee, they're eating a sandwich. Yeah, they only have one animation each, and I that, that that does make me sad. <laughs> the Simba head bob. Yeah. Uh, I can't make that. Wool fabric. We don't have. Do we? We do have copper. We don't have ash. We still don't have glass. All right, well, let's move. We can't go there. Um, wasn't that like really far away? Isn't it like all the way over here? It sure is. Uh, actually, well, we have to do it in order, right? So... We're over there. Oh, there's a blueprint chest there we haven't found. Okay. We still have to find someone. There's a spirit there. Uh, we're gonna stop here because there's a sheep and a shrine and a spirit. There's a lot of stuff here, so we'll stop there along the way. Let's just go there first. I don't I don't know if I if I'm crazy about the multiple waypoints because I don't like planning that far. I like to just do one thing at a time. One of the only complaints about the game. Alright, well, let's do a little fishing. We're still missing some rare fish. Alright, I'm done with this. That was good. That was great. Good, good effort. Uh, I don't know if we need any of those yet, actually. We can make some wool. Here it is. Everything's moved around. Oh, that's the wrong door. Cotton. Let's do it. And 
and wool. We'll do all the wool. Meanwhile, you have all these waypoints looking like you're summoning a demon on your map. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It takes the uh, the thinking out of it. I guess I'm just like, I want to plan uh, spontaneously. I have a general idea of where I want to go, but... Make some wool fabric. Okay, anything else? Leave some linen. By the end of the game, you had a whole itinerary for the day like a crazy person. I don't think that's crazy. Oh. Oh my god. Let me out. Lightning storm. Wanna catch as many bolts? No. No, I do not. I am not interested, but thank you. And I know we need a bunch of aluminum. Oh, weird. Oh, God. I'm gonna go for Lurky. Might be back, but if not, enjoy the rest of the stream. Thanks so much for hanging out, Tainted. It was great to see ya. Take it easy. I look forward to catching some of your streams later. That's fine. We'll do it later. I do want to check... What is it? A quest here? Upgrades? We need more marble. We need more aluminum ingots. Okay. We're gonna get those soon. Stretching. Oh, gosh. Oh. Everybody's in a rush here. Oh, wait, was this the one where I had to buy a key? some of this I'm gonna need. I don't want to sell my raw materials. Yeah, I'm gonna buy the key. As much as I hate it, I'm gonna buy it. Let's see, is there anything else that's like worth a whole lot that I have a lot of? Sell a couple of those. I feel like I better understand this game now. <laughs> With how high value those are. Is 
Is that a blueprint? Ah, oh, no. All right. Anything in here? What the hell? You unlocked the door from downstairs. Now anyone can come up here. I don't want these stair jerks up here. Downstairs jerks up here. Thank you for your subscription. I forgot about that. So what am I missing here? There's a blueprint somewhere. Sheep, come with me. At least we got the sheep. Maybe I'm just not far enough along in the game yet. But, we got the sheep. I hope. I hope. The sheep is all that matters. I love the sheep in this game. They are so, so stinking cute. All right, so we wanna go... You know what, maybe we should just go straight there because I feel like this stuff is much less worth it once we've like... Well, how, hold on, how many... We probably don't have enough we don't have enough gleams for the upgrade yet, unfortunately. So we can't go back to the shipyard. Oh, we had to go to the shipyard for something else though, right? So let's go to the shipyard first. And then we'll go to bottom line court. Oh, whatever. I hit the wrong button. Doesn't matter. We're going to the shipyard. Going to the shipyard. It's gonna be good. Dan, Dan er, uh, the sunflowers. Do any of you in chat have a favorite flower? I am curious. We got fire glow, finally. That was the wrong thing. That's fine. Not really. Yeah, I, I... I think I really like lilies. Like, the bigger ones. The bigger, like, pink ones. I've always just thought that they were really pretty. Apparently it's also, um... Like, the flower of death. Um... And one thing I really want to do is, at some point, at some point I want to get a memorial tattoo for my previous cat. And my idea was to get like a geometric designed cat face, um, of her face obviously, uh, and have it be, be like surrounded by lilies more like hyper realistic lilies so it'd be kind of like a cross of different artistic medium or uh, different designs we did get the sheep i'm glad glad i looked <laughs>
but that's always been a plan of mine. I have the design over on the wall here, actually. I could grab it. I don't know if it would show up on camera very well, but... Let's see if there's anything I can upgrade now that I have this new stuff. Nope. Yes. Got one. Built. Linen thread. Oh, does this cost gleams? I didn't realize that the upgrades cost gleams also. Yeah, my only my only um hesitation for getting it is I can't decide where I would want that tattoo. Like, um, originally I wanted it to be, like, a thigh piece, but then thinking about it more, I'm like, I think that would be too big for this particular, like, memorial tattoo. I think it would have to be a little bit smaller, and so now I'm, like, torn on where it would actually be a good fit, because, uh, I do want to get something like a sleeve, but if I get a sleeve... I want it to be all very cohesive. I don't want it to be patchwork. Is it this that I was improving? Yeah. Oh, if Gwen's not here anymore, I don't need her house there. I just realized that. We did it. We did the wardrobe. You know what? I'll do... Oh, I guess I'll do your quest now. Love tattoos, you're getting one this Saturday. Ooh, what are you getting? If you want to share. I just keep delaying on contacting a tattoo artist. I, I feel like I don't have the disposable income right now to justify getting a really expensive tattoo, but I definitely want to like start working on a sleeve. I'm not feeling so hot right now. I've got a lot on my mind. I keep thinking about my friend Zazie. Did you ever meet her? We used to organize rallies when we were younger. This picture of her and me is the only picture I have in my wallet. I've had it for over 40 years. Damn, your Aunt V would murder me if she knew I didn't at least have one picture of our kids. And she adored Zaz. Everyone did. Maybe we should hang it in my house. I won't get rid of, it won't get rid of the folds, but at least I won't get a water all over it. We should. We should hang it. Wardrobe. You're spoiling me, Stella. What an incredible piece of furniture. It livens the room so much. Yes, much cozier now. And filled to the brim with clothes and accessories, too. You don't know how happy this makes me. Well, what are you waiting for? Jump out of these old, dirty clothes, pick something, uh, pick something with some jazz to it. <gasps> really? Oh. <gasps> my god, I've got... You know what? You know what we're gonna do? We're not done. Oh no, I thought we would have a, a green top so that we could just reverse what we were already wearing. Uh, 
we'll, we'll go with that. Interesting choice. Well, that certainly is a modern choice. Very youthful. What about something more uh, classic? I think there was a nice periwinkle outfit in the bottom drawer. Try it on. <gasps> oh, it's so cute. Fantastic. Oh, sweetie, isn't that so much better? Why, you look so adorable. It can eat you up. And there's plenty more for you to try on. Don't be shy. Come over anytime. I've always loved doing these little fashion shows with my granddaughter. Oh, what is it? You found an envelope on the bottom drawer? How peculiar. Well, don't make me wait. Open it. What is it you say? Pictures and letters? Oh, those are mine. How did they end up there? What a mystery. This looks like my husband's handwriting. Oh, it's messy, all right. He was a delicate man, but quite handy and so very loving. A small one with your friends were getting the evil eye in the shape, uh, in some shape or form, but you're getting yours in a crystal ball. Ooh, cool. And yeah, Stella's looking real fly. Especially with this, like, huge belt buckle. <laughs> Which I know is, like, the light, but it looks like a giant, like, western belt buckle. But quite handy and so very loving. Oh, and would you look at that? My backyard. See all these trees? Sweet Eugene planted a tree for every one of our children. And then for our grandchildren. We grew apples, cherries. I remember my granddaughter playing in her mother's apple tree. Such sweet memories. Oh, look at me, rambling again. Go ahead, sweetheart. I won't hold you any longer. Are you mad at me, Peanut? Have I done something to offend you? No? Good. Feed me, then! Pretty please. I'm starving. Ha! Huh, thank you. I was hungry like a lion. Thank you for this food. Hungry. Like a lion. Mm -hmm. I'm hilarious. <laughs> I like the lion. Exactly as I remember it. I haven't given it much thought before now, but... Stella, this orchard almost looks exactly like the one my husband built. Have you seen all those fine details? Yes, he was quite a woodworker. At least until he gave up on it. His hands gave up on him. We planted our first apple tree along with the birth of our first daughter. You should plant a tree for yourself. Of course, it'll take some time before it can bear fruit. We've already we've already built, planted a tree. We've already done this. We are ahead of the game. I have so much stuff to do on my boat now. I'm like constantly doing stuff. We aren't even traveling anywhere and I'm like, I gotta finish this before we can go do whatever it is that we have to do next. Incredible. This tree grew so quickly. I'm sure the love you gave it helped tremendously. The laws of this world would allow it, but I'm glad the tree is fully grown now. Uh, you'll be able to build some great memories here. I've been doing some thinking. All my life, I've had to take care of others. Cooking, cleaning, and taking care of children. They're a blessing, really, but I've never had any time for excitement. Adventure. I thought, if it's not too much trouble, too much hassle, of course. And since we're traveling all over all the time, well, maybe you could come on a little trip with me. Just you and me. It'll be fun, I promise. How about that, Hamlet? Norwielder, was it? From what I've heard, it sounds like just my, uh, it sounds just like my Swedish romance novels. Oh, how I can devour those. What, you're also a fan? I knew you were a woman of culture. Anyway, if we're ever around those parts, I think we could have loads of fun. I'll give you some food. Uh, let's... We wanted to go... Talk? I remember there was some reason that we needed to be here, but I don't totally remember what that was. What is it? Oh, if I don't know that face. It's about the house. The green and brown one, right? Have some sort of problem with it, don't you? Yeah, I can see it from a mile away. Listen, I know my job. Me and my boys, we're real professionals. And it's not often that we criticize another worker's craftsmanship, but that house, oh wow. It had to be the worst job I've ever seen. Consider this a lesson. Don't trust any old amateur. Always go to a professional. So tell me, what complaints does your passenger have? Wait. What, she's sleeping? Oh, of course. 
That bald head of hers is very sensitive to temperature changes. Imagine how cold she must be. Not mentioning her dry and scaly skin. No, no, she needs a temperature and humidity control system. Luckily, that place was so shoddy designed that there's ample cracks for wiring and electronics. So yeah, there you go. Some plain schematics for a nice all-in-one HVAC system. Pro quality. Call it a courtesy. After all, how can I repay your debt if your boat falls to pieces? And then I don't think we can do any of this yet. Yep. Too expensive. We'll go back. And then we'll start moving. Oh wait, there was corn. Ah, oh, whatever. I would have preferred the corn. Alright. Well, while we're on our way to our new destination, I think this will be a good spot to stop for tonight. I'm actually feeling a little tired. I've got a little bit of throat hoarseness and talking has been a bit, a bit of a lot. Um, but I sincerely appreciate everybody hanging out tonight. Allie, always wonderful to see you. Garlic, uh, Tainted, Critical Hits with that raid. We had Titan in chat as well. We had a lot of people stopping by today. So I think we're going to toss over a raid. And I don't know when I'm going to be back next. Maybe tomorrow, if I'm feeling up for it. <laughs>